I will make you fishers of men. Come with me and be my friends. Listen to my truth. The Cathedral Prep program is unique. From my experience, I found that it offers just young men the opportunity to enter into a special relationship with God and discern whether or not we are being called to the priesthood. Here is like a second home for us. We come here, we hang out, we pray, we we just saw one big family and it feels like a second home to most of us. And they have some good food here too. <laughs> the Eucharistic veneration, when we sing, when we pray, when we're on our knees in front of the Lord, really just empowers you and gives you a sense of, this is where I should be, this is my home. Why would a young man want to come to the Cathedral Prep Program? And I think for two reasons. Uh, the first reason would be that many times he might feel that he's the only one uh, who's considering priesthood in his school, maybe in his parish, in his neighborhood. And then when he comes to the prep program, he realizes he's not alone. There are other young men like himself whom God is calling or has at least planted the seeds of a vocation into his mind and into his heart. Uh, so to be able to come together and be with others, uh, that gives strength, that gives support. Uh, and why else would a young man want to come here but to increase and deepen his prayer life and his spiritual life with Jesus Christ? Uh, our retreat weekends definitely encourage brotherhood, but they encourage the ultimate brotherhood with Jesus Christ through the celebration of the Mass, through the celebration of the Sacrament of Reconciliation, and of course through a holy hour uh, throughout the weekend. Uh, why would a young man want to come to the prep program? Because if God is calling him, he wants to begin to walk and follow Jesus Christ in a deeper way. The structure of the prep program is that we have eight retreat weekends over the course of the academic year. They're held about once a month. And what we do is we gather on Friday evening. Uh, some men come early to join us for evening prayer and for dinner. And then once we get the whole group together, uh, we start with an evening prayer, uh, a holy hour actually, which is up in our rector's chapel. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, small environment, close environment with Jesus Christ, and it's led by one of the friars of renewal who leads us in some prayer and worship music. Later on that evening, we'll have a talk which will set forth the theme for the weekend. Some of the retreat themes that we've done in the past have been the Beatitudes, uh, this year we happen to be doing the Fruits of the Holy Spirit. Uh, any number of uh, thematic talks which tie in not only our Christian life in Jesus Christ, but also where does priesthood fit into that. On Saturday morning, uh, we rise nice and uh, decently early. Uh, we get about with uh, a nice conference, uh, morning prayer. Saturday is, the, is, the, is a long day, but what's amazing is how quickly it goes. So, I mean... When I say long, I mean, I really should say that it's a day filled with so many activities. We make sure that uh, we offer the Sacrament of Reconciliation to our men before we have Mass, lunch. And then in the afternoon, I uh, have a uh, catechesis talk. We have a wonderful series called the Didache Series that take us through life in Christ, uh, take us through moral theology, take us through church history and the sacraments. And we make sure that each week we're learning more about our faith There'll be time set aside for some leisurely activity. The gym will be open and we'll have basketball and swimming and whatever else uh, the guys come up with. latter part of the afternoon, we make sure that our gym is open for basketball, bowling, uh, pool, uh, swimming in the pool, uh, playing pool or billiards, uh, working out in the fitness center, and even our squash courts. Uh, we have some outdoor tennis courts, and, uh, and some guys just enjoy walking around the property. There are things that we must do. Saturday evening after Mass and evening prayer with, the, with our theologians, uh, we come together for another talk, and there's usually a movie uh, that ties in with the theme of our, uh, 
of our retreat weekend. We have a beautiful, in the evening, a beautiful um, rosary vigil, an outdoor vigil in the cloister. And uh, that has always been one of my favorites, to watch the guys also uh, ask for Mary's intercession and, and walk around in the cloister and, and just uh, uh, invoke her name to, to help them uh, discern, because she's the queen of discernment. Then the next day, Sunday, uh, is we have a family mass. We invite family members to join us, and and that's always great because the guys bring their families to see what this is all about, and so the families can walk around, talk with uh, any of the priests, and meet some of the other young men on the retreat. have a nice, uh, uh, nice little bite to eat for breakfast before we send the guys home. Um, that takes place over the course of, the, uh, of each year, and we, our hope is that a young man at whatever stage, freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, would enter the program and begin walking uh, in that path of a vocation. What's fun is to watch how these people who would be so apparently different join together in this common, uh, this common goal of allowing God to enter into their hearts, to uh, cooperate with these young men, to uh, prompt them to uh, uh, nourish the uh, sense of vocation, and to encourage them to take further steps should priesthood be their calling. The uh, most significant elements of a retreat are really things that uh, are not seen and are not heard. It's the work, it's the operation of God within the mind and within the soul. When I joined in September of 2005, we had a holy hour in a place in the seminary. It's a religious place that's called the Zoo, with the Christian Brothers of the Renewal. And I truly believe that that holy hour renewed my vocation, my willingness to become a priest. It gives me a chance to get away from all the high school teenage drama of the week and just, you know, relax with a great group of men. It's really been great for me this past years. It's really helped me grow in my faith and my vocation. It's a very different environment compared to, like, being outside with people that would reject you, would rebuke you for what you're thinking about. Uh, I guess I was uh, in high school myself uh, the first time that I thought about becoming a priest. Uh, you know, I am uh, originally from Mexico City, and it was uh, during a, a retreat, kind of retreat, a retreat like uh, the one you have uh, here with, with, the, with the prep. Uh, it was just uh, an experience that it really, it really uh, gave me what I was uh, looking for. Overall, what's the mission? It's to challenge a young man to answer the Lord's call to serve and to ask the Lord if priesthood is the calling. And if it is, then to provide even further help for the young men who might have tons of questions about becoming a priest. We really need very good priests, priests who will imitate the Lord and uh, lay down their lives for God's people. If you are interested in being a priest and you would like to help people, it's a wonderful vocation. But there's something else to the priesthood. And that is every day, usually every morning, God himself reaches to the world in which we live, the world of matter, of the material cosmos. And he brings into this world the miracle of the Blessed Eucharist. And God, the Son of God, the infinite Son of God, is there in your hands. What a wonderful, mysterious thing. 
And everyone is called into that mystery, but it is put into the hands and on the lips of a priest. If you hear the call, answer it. You've got nothing to lose by examining, trying, discerning, and asking God, is it for me, Lord, or is it not? It won't be easy. No good thing is easy. But it will, when all is finished, be what Mother Teresa said, something beautiful for God. God bless you.